entered the high-tech area of materials and fabrication processes. We're now incorporating aerospace quality materials into our turbines, and we're incorporating high-quality design tools to design and fabricate these turbines. The design analysis tool generated at Sandia Labs called NUMAD reduces the time required to generate a finite element analysis of the wind turbine blade and lets the designer concentrate on using different materials and parametric studies to reduce the cost of the blade and overall the cost of the energy produced by the wind turbine. Some of our strongest matrixing has been with the test people. We've done uh, modal testing, materials evaluation, where we've been able to determine actual material properties through modal testing in combination with analysis and test analysis validation. If, if wind energy is ever going to change from a niche market where it, it is applicable only in really high energy sites to, a, to one where it's going to make a national impact on our power grid, then we have to be building turbines that are, are able to sweep a bigger area, capture a greater area of the energy, and do that with longer blades that are lighter and just as cheap and low cost as they are right now. That's a huge technical challenge. I think we can share these kind of improvements with our sister departments out in uh, Tech Area 1, and we can also leverage back some of the stuff they're looking at, advanced materials, and work back and forth to uh, lower the cost of our components, both the nuclear weapons programs as well as our renewable energy programs.